The story began in the past when a little child was reading a fairy story. The story tells the witch heroes that have slain the demon kings for the world's peace. After reading the story, the kid has a dream to be a justice witch hero. The story comes to the present in a city located in the south of Bolzano Kingdom, where the town has an elite school, namely Bolzano Kingdom Academy. Appears the beautiful yellow hair lady that is curing the boy's wound with her spell power. Her name is Rumia Tinjal. Suddenly showed up, the lovely lady greets Rumia Tinjal. Her name is Sistine Fibble. They are students from Bolzano Kingdom Academy. Now they are talking about the teacher whom they admire. His name is Mr. Howley that suddenly summoned. This day also the day that the new teacher will come. Sistine hoped that the new teacher was the same as Mr. Halley, that they were admired. After a few minutes, showed a man runs in a hurry to lead them, and spontaneously Sistine throws the man with her power. <laughs> Sistine tries to apologize. Otherwise, the man's behavior is annoying, then Sistine throws him twice. In the class, Sistine and the other students feel peeved because the new teacher they waiting for is late to the class. In a few minutes come the new teacher. Surprisingly, the new teacher is the man that Sistine threw in the morning. Glenn Radar is the new teacher in the second grade of Olzano Kingdom Academy. When he wanted to introduce himself to the class, Sistine, that is the class chairman to make the teacher teach without introducing himself. After that, Mr. Glenn writes something on the board, learn by yourself, and then Mr. Glenn sleeps at his table. Sistine is peeved and mad. She throws the book at him. Then Mr. Glenn starts the lesson but feels lazy and terrible at writing. It makes Sistine and the other students mad. After that, one of the students named Lynn asks Mr. Glenn if she has not understood the material delivered by Mr. Glenn. Then Mr. Glenn read his book and said that he also didn't understand the material and asked students to find the material by themselves. Such a thing makes Sistine angrier and angrier and starts to debate Mr. Glenn. A good teacher does not behave like that and a teacher should explain the material that the students do not understand. Yet Mr. Glenn still asks the student to study by themselves. After the bells rang, Mr. Glenn exited the room. On the other hand, a teacher named Mr. Halley complains about the presence of Mr. Glenn to the head of the academy that Mr. Glenn is a moron's third grade, which he is not suitable to teach in Ozano Kingdom Academy. Especially Mr. Glenn doesn't have a certificate of teaching. The head of the academy explained that the presence of Mr. Glenn was the direct recommendation from Prof. Selikar Fonia. At a few moments, Prof. Selikar Fonia told Mr. Halley that he could insult her. Still, he must not insult Mr. Glenn. If it happens, Prof. Selika will act. After Mr. Halley went, the head of the academy asked Mrs. Selika why she recommended Mr. Glenn that he was not worthy of being a teacher at that academy. Mrs. Selika explained that she would take responsibility for Mr. Glenn because Mrs. Selika would make Glenn live thoroughly. At least he has a new purpose in his life. Here comes Sistine, where she is very stressed about her new teacher's behavior, and now she needs unique therapy for herself. Suddenly, Mr. Glenn enters the room and watches the therapy. More and more, she is fed up with Mr. Glenn's behavior. Then she throws her gloves at him as a mark to challenge him. Because Mr. Glenn is the one who gets a challenge, so he has the right to decide the rules where they both are not allowed to use other power except Shock Bolt, which is the most potent spell in the academy. But in the duel, Mr. Glenn continuously got a shocking bolt from Sistine. This makes students realize that their teacher is ridiculous and an idiot. The next day, even though Mr. Glenn loses the duel, Mr. Glenn still comes and teaches. As usual, Mr. Glenn asked the student to learn by themselves while he was nailing a book on board. After a while, Lynn asks Mr. Glenn about the translation of the formula. But, at that time, Sistine insults her for not asking the question because Sistine assumes that Mr. Glenn doesn't know about the meaning and vital magic. Mr. Glenn heard that and asked Sistine about how important magic is. Smiling, Sistine said that magic is necessary because it has many advantages for humans and assume that magic is a basic of human life. Then according to Mr. Glenn, the things more beneficial to humans are medical, agriculture, and infrastructure than magic. Sistine assumed that the magic was not that low, as mentioned by Mr. Glenn. Then he explained more, if you try to reach magic leveling, which level will you reach in magic? Are you want to be a god? After that, all students reflect on what their teacher is saying. Mr. Glenn laughed and said, yes. Magic is indeed beneficial to humans, but benefits to killing each other. Don't waste your life learning magic. Apparently, Sistine slaps Mr. Glenn and exits the class. In the evening, Mr. Glenn sees Rumia making the magic circle in a room and Mr. Glenn approaches her. Because he sees Rumia confused about why her magic circle is inactive, Mr. Glenn tries to help her by adding some missing mercury. Rumia started to spell the magic and it appeared simmering light that amazed Rumia. At a glance, Mr. Glenn recalls his childhood memories that he was just a kid who was still a newbie in magic and is very excited about it. 
Because the day is getting darker, Mr. Glenn takes Rumia to her home and asked her, why are you amazed by magic? Rumia started to tell Mr. Glenn that three years ago she was caught and deployed by a witch and nearly got killed. But there was a witch hero that saved her. Because of that situation, Rumia realized that she must understand magic well to guide humanity to the right place to use the magic. If her goals were achieved, Rumia would say thanks to the man one day. Shortly, Mr. Glenn reminds Rumia, but he ignores it. At home, Sistine watches Rumia with Mr. Glenn. Rumia is a foster of the Bible family or Sistine family, so that Rumia is Sistine's roommate. After that, Rumia tells Mr. Glenn that Sistine upholds magic because her grandpa has to reach and leak Megalius' secret palace in the sky. On the next day at school, Mr. Glenn apologized to Sistine about yesterday. After knowing that his students are genuinely amazed by magic, Mr. Glenn now tried to teach the students seriously. The lesson started by mentioning his stupid students who don't know the magic really is. Clearly, all the students laugh and underestimate him. Mr. Glenn explained that the shock bolt is the most tremendous magic. Obviously, the students underestimate him arrogantly. They feel they already know about the magic and don't need an explanation about it. But then the students are astonished when Mr. Glenn explains the abbreviation, the division even when he spells the magic shock bolt quickly. Indeed, the students feel unbelievable that when they spell mistakenly, magic is inactive. Still, Mr. Glenn with his simple words can activate the shock bolt. Mr. Glenn explains that magic is not a principle of the world. Still, magic is knowledge to examine the heart of humanity. For example, Mr. Glenn successfully shoots Sistine, and then Sistine becomes embarrassed and angry with Mr. Glenn. It is said that a sentence has power, and the magic will be created from the subconscious heart. Mr. Glenn suggested that students should not memorize the old book he threw. After that, Mr. Glenn became famous in every part of the academy with his unique teaching. Not only do his students follow his teaching, but the other class follows his lesson because of their curiosity. The day passes, Sistine and Rumia become closer to Mr. Glenn, and he feels that his life has become more colorful. When he thinks about all his life, Mrs. Selica says, At the recent time you feel more spirit, yet at the previous time you seemed not that enthusiastic. The day passed until one day, Mr. Glenn ran because he was coming late to the academy. But the situation seemed different because there was a witch with a snake tattoo on his hand. On the other side, two witches in Mr. Glenn's class are looking for Rumia. Sistine and the other cannot go against them because their magic level is different. So that Rumia, who doesn't want them to hurt Sistine and the other, appears and is carried by the evil witch. But one of them still carries Sistine because she becomes too ambitious. Sistine is brought to other rooms by the witch because the target is only Rumia. So Sistine only becomes the bag for punch. The witch wants to rape Sistine and she won't surrender but she still hopes that there is someone who will help her. Suddenly Mr. Glenn comes but she yells at him to go away and defend himself because she thinks his magic is not as great as the witch's. But when the witches begin to attack him, surprisingly their magic is lost and can't be used. Luckily Mr. Glenn has prepared a magical creation named Stupid World where the witch cannot use the certain area magic with him. The witches were shocked. How could Glenn create such magic because only a high sorcerer can spell the magic creation? So that Mr. Glenn also cannot spell the magic, such a thing makes the evil witches laugh so severely and Sistine gets a pessimist. Suddenly Mr. Glenn starts to punch and shows his martial arts. In fact that he was a former soldier of the Elzano kingdom and many people suffered after getting punched by him. Even the evil witch is in front of him. Suddenly living skeleton appears from the portal to attack him. With the help of Sistine, Mr. Glenn gets his additional power. Still, because too many of them, they try to run away. Because there is no other way Sistine directed by Mr. Glenn to spell storm magic to make sure the skeleton army bounded and immobilized. After that, Mr. Glenn spelled military spells to demolish them. But then, after a magic spell, his face becomes pale because of his lack of mana. Unfortunately, other witches bring a flying sword that the magic is activated before the stupid world spell is activated. Mr. Glenn whispered to Sistine, can you still use the shock bolt spell to destroy the sword? A few moments later, Mr. Glenn pushes Sistine down. Because of the lack of mana, he seems to meet difficulty when defending against the evil witch's attack. In his plan, Mr. Glenn deliberately accepts the attack from the witch. At that time, Sistine comes to activate the magic to reject magic from the sword. Here comes Mr. Glenn begins to swing and slay the witch with his sword. After that, Mr. Glenn helped Rumia, but his body became weak. He cannot hold the wound and also lacks mana. With her magic, Sistine tries to heal Mr. Glenn's wound and transfer mana. After that, Mr. Glenn remembered that he wanted to become a hero. But still, he cannot become a hero and both of them faint. And the story is over here. What do you think about the anime we discussed? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel by activating the bell to receive notifications for the next video here on Storyline Anime. Thank you.